Ciao Bellas, happy 2016. This is my first video for the year and I'm so excited. So today I'm going to be doing a mini makeover on myself. So I have no makeup on, I'm all natural. This is all my real natural hair. Also it is summer in Australia so I have been going to the beach every day. So my hair really is a bit dry and needs a break, which is why I decided to do a wig. So I'm going to be doing a Chanel blonde bob wig. It's a platinum blonde and I'm really, really into platinum right now. So what I'm doing is just spraying the parting down to make sure that it's flat. Then I'm blow drying it in the direction that I would like the hair to sit. I'm blow drying the front bit a little bit backwards because I do like it to have a little bit of lift when it's on my face so it's not too sleek sitting right on my forehead. Now I'm just using normal eyebrow tweezers and what I'm doing is I'm thinning out the hairline. This will give it a much more realistic look. When I make my custom hairline wigs for my clients, because I do hand make all of the wigs, I don't make them this way. However, this is a really great method for all of my Bellas who are at home and would like to achieve a natural hairline by themselves because I know a lot of companies don't offer custom hairlines. So this isn't how I do my ones for my clients, but this is an amazing technique that you can do at home because all you need is eyebrow tweezers. Now that I have done the hairline, I'm putting the wig inside out and then I'm going to be going over with my powder palette and my brush. You just need like a big blush brush. It'll just apply a lot more evenly um, and faster. Now I'm just going to be really pushing it in and making sure that it is fully covered all over the lace. What I'm aiming to do here is the powder to cover up the black dots, which is called knots. And what that is, is because the wig is made by all strands being knotted into the lace, because lace is almost like a grid, it has holes in it. So that's why when you get a wig sometimes and you part it, it's got all these black dots, That those are the knots. So that's why I'm using powder to try and make those knots more in more invisible, sorry. Um, a lot of people do bleach the knots, however, I find that it does damage the cuticle of the hair and sometimes it can leave a little bit of an orange tinge. So I like this method because it looks really natural and also it is healthier for the hair, so your wig will last a lot longer. Now I'm just going to be cutting the lace off, so I'm using a butterfly clip to section the hair back. It is a lot easier to cut the lace when it's on a mannequin or a training head. If not, you can just hold it onto your hand. So I'm just using scissors to cut the lace straight up. If you do have a unit that has a customised hairline, I do suggest to cut it in quite a straight form. But if you're using a wig that doesn't have the same lace that matches your skin tone, then you would want to try and cut the lace directly to the hairline as much as possible. The unit that I'm wearing today, I did make it with transparent lace, which does match my skin colour quite well. So once it's cut, you can just re-flip the wig inside out. Then I'm just going to be applying my elastic band. Today I'm using a thin elastic band because I find that it allows for more coverage because I do have such long thick hair, it can be quite bulky. Also because the wig is so short, I find that a thinner band sometimes does allow the wig to sit a little bit better around the ears. So I just measured it from ear to ear. I do like it firm, but I don't want it too tight because it will give me headaches. And now I'm just using a needle and a thread and I'm sewing it perfectly parallel from ear to ear. Okay, so now that my wig is ready, I'm going to have to deal with my hair. So I have not washed or treated it or brushed it in a few days and it's just quite knotty and dry from all of the sand and beach and all of the sun. I did put a platinum toner over my hair for Christmas. So I have been using this amazing new treatment, Curaplex, um, but I haven't been using that in the new year because I've just been so busy on holiday. So I'm just going to be brushing out my hair. But before I brush it out, I'm going to be applying virgin coconut oil. You guys know I love coconut oil. It's really amazing for a general moisturizer for your hair. Also for your scalp, black Jamaican castor oil is the best amazing oil to make your hair grow. But just to keep your actual hair, not your scalp, your hair moisturized under the wig, I love coconut oil. You can also use serums like macadamia serum, coconut and papaya serum by Natural Look. Those are two of my favorite ones. So now that my hair is brushed, I'm going to be putting a net on. I always wear a net over a wig cap because I find that it sits more securely and it also is bigger so it won't slip off. So if you do have longer hair, then definitely go for a net because when what 
so when I wear a wig cap, sorry, it always shifts off because my hair is so long. Now that the wig is on, I'm going over with a smaller eyebrow brush to redo the palette. I'm going over with a lighter shade first, then I'm going over with a darker shade, and that's just gonna make sure the demarcation is gonna be perfect. And demarcation is where my lace meets my skin. So this is the finished look. There's just something about a platinum bob or any bob in general that just makes you feel a little bit effortless and sexy. So this is just a perfect style for me to start the new year. Fix your gaze on me too. 